Hey, 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 what's up, guys? What's happening, man? It's good to see everybody. It's been a couple days, so I hope you're ready for a little Saturday trucking here. We've uh, got a free one for you, man. So it's to be, woo, it's to be good, man. So let me throw some shout outs, man. It's good. It actually is really good uh, to see everybody here. Oh, man, we got some, yeah, man, we got some good, good, good names in here, man. A lot of green names as well. So let me, let me shout out our members mods. Uh, good to see you, Mr. Justice A. Congrats there to who's the Lito being number one in the room. Uh, Justice Z there, Louis Trucking, uh, get our, uh, our mods in. I think I saw Sinister is in theirs as well. Yeah, what's up, Sinister? Good to see you, buddy. And let's go to our green names, Brian King there. Uh, a year plus member there, Louis Truck and Nine Plus. Uh, there's Justice Z, man. It's good to see Justice Z 71 in here. Manuel Martinez, thank you there for the sub, bud. Uh, we've uh, got Eddie in the house. What's up, Eddie? He's fresh on a new membership. So thank you there, Eddie. Appreciate you, man. Uh, John Five Double Deuces, Big Jim Triple Deuces. Uh, been here for quite some time, so congrats to you guys. Thank you all for your uh, your uh, sponsorship there and membership to the channel. Mr. Brian King, what's up, man? He is a year plus. Captain Chaos. Uh, who else we got up in the house? Like, oh, there's Highland Winter Wolf. I know I saw him. Big Jim, there I got him. Yeah, Jeremy, what's up, man? Uh, it's good to see your buddy. John Hawthorne, a new uh, new member there as well. So, man, thank you guys. Appreciate it, man. Uh, awesome Gamer Chronic, good to see you guys. Bull Hauler, Waylon Greer, what's up? Bull Hauler, BTS, good to see you guys. Frogman, what's up? Uh, Mr. Chinchilla, what's up, man? Hope you guys are doing well. And Koa, is that Koa Boy? Thank you there, Koa. Appreciate it, man. Uh, Matthew Stanner, what's up, man? Isaac Norman, what's up? Good to see you guys. JK G Scooter, what's up? Big Mr. Good Time, good to see you, man. It's been a while. It's Trucker, Mark Lewis, Josh Heath, what's up, guys? Terrence Lee, hello, hello, hello. Zach Plays, Devious 2, good to see you, man. Pistol Pete, what up? Good to see you guys. TGM49, what's up, man? Awesome gamer, hello. <laughs> yeah, AK frame rate, I know. <laughs> I know, it's all so good, man. I like that little jam, man. It's called Vacation there from the uh, YouTube audio library. I've been hit with so many uh, I've been hit with so many uh, copyright violations from people that decided to take their music uh, legit uh, and decided to go charge everybody that's used them in the past two years. So uh, I decided, we'll just go use YouTube's library. Uh, you know, why not? <laughs> God, I don't think they're going to let I don't think they're going to let any money out there out their uh, door here. My dog snuck back here. I'm trying to keep him out of here, make sure he doesn't get into the wires. He has a bad problem of getting up there and then uh, wanting to turn around and then figures out he can't. Then he freaks out like a cat and around a bunch of rocking chairs. Oh. Oh, just got the duels. All right, man. Good deal there, horse. Ernest, or Easton. No, Ernest. What's up, man? Jaden Flowers. Good to see you, man. Thanos, what's up? Good to see you, the Mustang man. I do not have an Instagram. Not gaming anyway. Patty, what up, Patty D? Nate Kelly, what's up, man? I am doing good, man. Good to see you guys. 30 seconds here, then we'll get it rolling. I know, it's a nice new truck, and it really is good. Actually, I really like it just because I like a Freightliner, I'll be honest. So what? It's actually a really good-looking truck. I've kind of got it straight-up old school, too. No custom. Like, yeah, no. It's got some chrome on it. That's about the only thing. <coughs> yes, I did, Ozolito. <clears throat> Oh, it's like that. <coughs> Down the wrong pipe. Oh, my God. Woo. I know, and it's free. Barbadale, what's up? Um, yeah, so I need to get with you, uh, Joselito. I need to get with you, man, and figure out some more about pulling that stuff out. I, I, I kind of got the gist of most of what you were saying on that. So, uh, we're coming to triple four today, man. <laughs> yeah, hopefully not, Bull. What's up, Elu? How are you, man? I know you're wrong, dude. <clears throat> Demarion, what's up, man? Good to see, man. Jaden Flowers. Ethan, I uh, miss you guys back there. So, what's up? Yes, it's classic. Well, it's, I mean, it's derivative of the same body style. So, you know, I guess it's kind of like a, I don't know, if you went from a Kenworth from the 80s all the way up. I mean, you, you have a couple different variations, but they're still, you got the, the XL, the FLB, which is the cab, and then you've got the FLC. The FLD is kind of all in that same, I don't know, kind of shape, but, you know, different models, different. What's up, OTR? How, man? I'm good, man. Uh, what's the best monitor playing for these? I hate to say as much money as you can put into it, but that's really not fair. It depends on what you want to do with it, Mark. Um, you know, most computer monitors are just fine. Uh, obviously, you get into the 4Ks. Uh, the system's going to use a lot more if you get under 140. The, <coughs> the thing that I would say is probably the best thing for you is the 144 hertz. Um, that 144 hertz creates a very nice, smooth gameplay. 
um, especially for your eyes to watch. But it depends on how close you're sitting up to it, how big you want to go. Um, that was probably the next thing I'd upgrade would be my monitors, but that's a big old stip of money. Uh, and uh, with a 30, with the 3080s on the looming, uh, I don't know that I'm necessarily going to run that right now. Uh, I'm going to wait and see what the new cards come out and then potentially maybe make a new build with a new card and leave this as a, either a streaming PC or you know, as a secondary backup slash editing PC that I can use um, in the future. So I, I don't know. Lot, lots of things, man. It's always weird when you're in the middle of that, like, you know, that, that computer era, which we kind of are in. The 30s are going to be ridiculous. And then you've got the introduction of these i9, 10,000, X, whatever they are. I mean... We're getting in the point to where I think even the tech guys are like, we don't know what else to do. Hey, I, oh, I missed that, man. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you there, Sinister. Holy crap, man. I missed the GIF, man. I had the thing closed off. That gum it. <laughs> oh, thank you there, man. Appreciate that. Big on there from Sinister to start the night off right. Well, that gum it. That's, that's the way to go, man. Let's bounce an intro. Let's check out a free truck. Appreciate it, man. Awesome, Sinister. <laughs> Killing me, man. All right, here she is, man. I don't, I don't necessarily like that. I wish they had, like, you know, just chill rock country audio libraries they really don't have that so yeah so this is free thank you yeah appreciate that man again man uh ever growing mini pits quincy yes they are if you if you want to continue to grow with them and grow your setups and you know all that stuff man uh the the biggest thing though is is so this is what i tell people all the time people think oh well, yeah it's stupid to spend that kind of money on stuff and i'm like well i think it's stupid to put a 12 inch lift kit and 45s and you know, put all kind of tuning stuff on your truck that you're going to sell and not get a quarter of it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, thank you there. <laughs> Appreciate it there, Brian King. Looking forward to seeing tonight's truck. Well, I am too. I'm actually, really haven't driven it that much, but um, I have looked at it. It's not quite enough to do a build and drive, but I am going to kind of break through real quick because the cool thing about this truck is it's free. If you guys want it, go ahead and go down into the description. I've got the link. Now, the link goes to the SES forums. Uh, we're should take you to the share mods from the guy. Okay, so make sure you follow updates on the forums. Um, and you can also, there's a surprise in there from a, one of our members, Mr. Captain Chaos. Uh, he, I sent him a message and was asking him a few things about the Alaska map. And he sent me this thing and said, hey, you want the sound pack? I asked him if he had the sound pack for that. I couldn't find it. Like page 60 uh, of that thing, there is a guy, a guy made an engine pack sounds um, to be compatible with creatures. Now, eventually this will probably get some more sounds. It has like force engines in there right now. But anyway, now the truck, if you have that file, put it above Creech's 3.1 pack. And now you've actually got Creech's uh, engine sounds to go with the FLC. So a little bit for me, a few more options uh, as it relates into that. The trailer that we're running tonight, I believe. Hey, Wheezy up. Thank you there, man. Appreciate it, man. Loving the stream. Well, thank you there for the five there, Wheezy. Appreciate it, man. As always. Um, and so let's see, where was I? Oh yeah. So the trailer, we're going to be using a few different ones tonight, but tonight's the, the Benson drop deck, uh, which I can grab a link here after we run a, run a load or two like we normally do. So I'll turn this thing down to my ears a little bit. <laughs> Quincy. Yeah, yeah, it happens, man. It happens. Uh, Mark, I am using uh, I'm using the uh, the big um, oh from SimLab. It's the uh, it's the big one for because I have three forties, is what I have. All right, so we are uh, let's see where's about uh, so we are over here uh, in Washington. I'm actually not in Idaho now. Um, actually come over here. So we're going to make a couple of short deliveries here, some flatbeds, and then we'll, we'll basically can bounce around to whatever truck, basically just showing you guys a truck today. Uh, and then obviously, but you guys go get it, man, go get it and support XBS. Cause here's the thing, like I always say, man, um, pretty much, uh, yeah, yeah. Thank Yeah. Thank captain for that, man. Uh, and these may change, but if they do, I'll try to let you guys know. Um, just remember, man, if you guys go 
do stuff like this, make sure you go support XBS. I don't know if he's got a donation link if he does, but make sure if anything, if he doesn't have any donation stuff in there, uh, you know, drop him a five or 10 and say, Hey man, thanks for the truck. Appreciate what you do for the community for keeping things free, whatever it is, make sure you go support those guys to keep some of these things free. And if he doesn't have anything, I can't remember if he does, but if he doesn't make sure that you go in the forums and say, Hey man, thanks for what you do. I appreciate your, uh, your hard work on this. Uh, you'd be surprised, man, how, uh, how, how much that would go. So, uh, here it is. And this is the XBS. This is the same guy that did the uh, Kenworth 100E. So I know you guys know that one. Uh, we've got the uh, wheel package on here. Outside of that, everything is uh, out, everything else is pretty much uh, fixed up. He's got three different cab variants, a couple visors, a couple of different grills, a couple bumpers. And I'm sure as time uh, presses on, he'll probably do a little bit more with this truck. Uh, but you'll see here on the... Let me see if I can get a good shot here. He's got this really nice kind of... Uh, He's got this really nice kind of cool, almost like a, it's not rust, but it's kind of got this orange peel kind of classic look, like it's got an older classic look to it, like maybe you can see it in the side. Yeah, right there, especially around the, uh, in the cab. So I don't know, it, it's not a complete slick, uh, clean truck, which is kind of nice. So, so we got the Benson drop deck. We've got, what is that? Uh, we got a bunch of harvesters on the back there. So we're just taking them down to, uh, to a Natchee, I believe. So we'll be... Uh, we'll be in here. We'll be in the uh, Cummins Triple Four as well, mainly because I like the uh, jack brake on this, and y'all will too. <laughs> Guess what happens, Gumbo? <laughs> if you figured out how to get younger, hey man, let me know in your secrets. Yeah, I definitely went with uh, I definitely went with the older uh, an older older set on this one, man. I'll probably uh, try to convert one of my custom paints onto this thing. It's uh, actually should have a pretty simple side in there. Yeah, Demary, we'll be giving away a free truck today, man. <laughs> That's all right, Big Jim. It's probably his bedtime anyway, man. My kids don't think I'm cool either. What's up, John? Seat's good, man. Uh, do you not have that? Doesn't regard gaming. Uh, what do you mean there, Thanos? Might do. Might, might say that one again there. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Uh, uh, it's kind of funny, Quincy, because uh, all of, all of his because uh, <laughs> he's German. So I don't know where he gets these sounds. I've heard he gets them from. Uh, I've heard he gets them from different places, like YouTube and sourced from videos and whatnot. And I'm like, that's pretty talented, man. If you're getting this from a freaking YouTube video. <laughs> What's up, Faze? What's up? Uh, the next building drive. Um, so I'm thinking about pulling in. Uh, we got to pull in a, a cab over on our next one. That's the deal I made with everybody. Uh, so we got to do a cab over. So, so I okay. How, how many? Hang on. Let me let me let me check something real quick. Uh, let's see. Probably not gonna need that anymore. All right. So I got a question for you guys. Um, and I want you guys to, so I've got my own feels about this, but since you guys are my watching crew, uh, I want to get your feels on it before I, uh, jump and jump the gun and wind up taking half of you off. Um, and I want you to be honest and be serious. So I got, uh, I got to reach out today from, uh, from a guy that's doing, um, I believe it's, uh, hang on, let me tell you, cause if not, I'm going to screw it up. Cause then somebody might be like, Oh my God, that was my dad's truck. Uh, let's see here. All right, so he is doing an 88 Peterbilt 372. 
and it looks good and obviously I'll get some more details on what it's got but it is uh, an 88 372 Peterbilt so it's a cab over it kind of looks like the Argosy but it's a little bit more beefier a little more squared off um, anyway he is doing a um, he is doing a uh, uh, kind of like a, a prepay thing that uh, the guy from um, and I'm still want to probably talk to him about that and just see what he thinks on that, what what this truck's got on it. Do you guys want to see something like that, regardless of whether or not it's a pre-buy, whether or not it's payware, freeware, whatever? Because I know some people may have really hated on uh, Rollins for doing a prepay thing. Um, I would assume just take it and make it a um, just make it buyable. You know, just make people buy it whenever they get it. Don't don't prepay it and then cut other people out, but. I've seen a bunch of people got salty about Rollins and then if you know you're like oh it's prepay only sorry you can't get it anymore people will get like really salty like yeah that's not right just make it payware so feel feel free to like you know feel free to throw it up there man I, I kind of want to know what you guys what you guys think Oh yeah, yeah. I, I assume chaos. I assume it'll be finished. Um, you know, he said he was just looking to recoup the money that he had. I think he bought the original model, um, and then basically converted and put everything in. Now, whether or not other things will be made, whether or not it's uh, just an update at this point, or whether or not there's going to be more parts made, I don't know. I get some more details like that, but I just kind of wanted to know, um, just overall viewer audience here, what you guys were kind of leaning towards, what you kind of thought. So. It's a beefy truck, man. I like this, man. Okay. What's up, Jay Allen? How are you, man? B and K, what's up? All right. Well, I, I'll. Um, well, I, I, you know, Joselito, I'm, I'm with you, man. I, I kind of think that's the better way to do it. Um, I think sometimes it's. Uh, I think. I think guys think maybe. I don't know, man. I never talked to Rollins. Uh, with the with the uh, Rollin 389 mod, I had no idea what he um, you know what he wanted or why he did it that way. I think some of it's sellable, makes it more uh, appealing when people can't have it anymore. Um, and then the other part is I, I think sometimes um, it looks better to put it on a prepay and make sure that you're going to get your money for it rather than putting it out to sell and then nobody buys it. Which honestly, I don't think in the market that the trucks are in, I don't think that's going to be an issue. And I think some people do it because they want to sell it to a very small minute audience and then don't want it shared out to everybody but i don't know i mean i guess if it's about making money you know in the first place to um either you know for whatever you pay for the model plus other things that you have programs licensing all that kind of stuff i i just be like just sell the heck out of it if somebody leaks it they leak it like you can't control that i'm at 138 there christine what's up will smith how are you man That's what you drove, Eddie. Ah, that's kind of what's up, Riz. I kind of, I kind of think that man. He <laughs> agreed to Captain Chaos kid. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll let this take break. Uh, Cole, we're using the uh, Cummins Triple Four from uh, from Mr. Creech, Mr. Creech Bomb. Yeah, I saw that, Mike. I, I, I think I think the C500 is, is the C500. Is that not JDM C500 payware that's just been leaked out by Mods 82? Um, harsh. It can it it goes for a couple different prices. Um, I think it goes for up $14 for the bare necessities, which is basically just the skybox. And then if you want to, um, if you want to go ahead and get like the textures and, uh, the weather and vegetation, like he has like six different mods. They're not just the skybox. Um, but if you want all of those, I think it's like 26, maybe it's around 25. I'll put it that way. 
some people just elect to go for just the skybox but honestly i think his vegetation and textures and stuff actually go a long way in the game uh i don't i'll have to look justin i i meant to do that last time man it's uh it's called the landsat map uh honestly i believe i got that in uh wombat's one of his mega videos um, you could probably cruise through any of Wombat's videos. Basically, all it does is allows you to look at a much wider view of the map. Alright, 50 miles to Wenatchee. The old Freightliner FLC here. Brand new truck here out by XBS. Same guy that did the Kenworth 100E. This is the Benson drop deck from... Uh, this is from ATS Mod Updates. This is another beauty by Keith Davis man he's been doing a killer job I'll throw some links up to this one uh, we'll pull another load with it then I'll, I'll shoot you guys a link on this one <laughs> what's up Jalen <laughs> what's up true game well thank you man uh, the, so money man the GPS is like right under that blue pass your w pass there for your uh tolls it's a little node inside like it's it's not a custom mod uh should be both i assume it's updated but i uh, have not honestly i've got his flatbed i don't have his drop deck i bought bart's drop drop deck so i didn't feel like buying uh pingus i didn't need his you know what i'm saying this truck looks pretty mean sitting inside here it's got a carbon fiber dash it's getting a little late on us. We'll make it uh, morning time. We can get to our next our destination. <laughs> Fair enough, there, Sebastian. That's hilarious. What'd you? How'd you break your toe, man? Or do we want to know? Only if it's a funny story. If it's nasty, gruesome, hey. <laughs> no, 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 thanks. What's up there, JRG? What's up, man? AMG9, what's going on, guys? Who know this song? What song do you hear? I don't hear no music. Is that is that is that a sign when the YouTuber has done too many payware trucks, people just automatically come in and say how much? <laughs> <laughs> See that right? Uh, yeah, this is it. Going to Yakima. Hey Evan, uh, we are using JBX. What's up, Tony? It's good, man. Uh, yes, Brian, we went ahead. I just went ahead and pre-ordered the Deluxe, man. Why not? <laughs> you don't need it, Justin, but it does make all the Creech Bombs uh, engine sounds work with it. So I figure that's probably something everybody could get behind there. Um, so it, it makes all those, you know, the, the 34.6s, the Cummins, triple four, the M11. It puts all those in there. Uh, yeah, Rez, this just came out on the forums, uh, to, uh, what, the 13th? Is that right? Came out the 13th, so it is a really cool truck. This is the same, same guy here that did the, uh, the Kenworth 100E. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's Overflow. This is XBS. He's the same guy that did the auto car. Sorry. My B. Nobody corrects me? Can't believe y'all didn't correct me. Oh, my God. Yeah, same guy that did the auto car and the uh, I forget what the other what the other mod was. He did two of them. They were the old classic trucks. 
Workhorses. Well, we used to have one there. Uh, used to have one there, bull. They decided to pull it. <laughs> Take it there, Jake Brake. Speaking of Jake Brakes. Actually, I don't know why this truck. I like the uh, like the drop visor. I don't normally like a drop visor. One, I do. I like it in an FLC. Oh, yeah. You and me and my family. No, fan. Nah, no, Thanos. No, I, I don't. Uh, yeah. There's enough crazy people in this world, man. Uh, knowing a little bit about me is crazy enough. But as you get more popular, people tend to uh, send you things that you just don't. You know, you don't need your family being a part of either. Barely see the lines. Oh, I think I turned in too close. Pretty sure I did. Oh, oh man, I almost made it. Almost. It's funny, awesome gamer. <laughs> yeah, Carlos, this is good, man. I actually like this. I do not there, uh, Kelsey one. Uh, I don't truck IRL. I enjoy the game, man. I enjoy creating content with the mods and uh, reviewing people's creativeness, man. I, li I like Sims in general. Flight Sims, driving Sims, space Sims. I mean, you name it, racing Sims. Um, I'm kind of all over it, man, with the Sims. I, I like them. It's expensive hobbies to keep up, though, because, of course, you got to simulate everything if you can. <laughs> So by the time you do it, you're like, "Woo, this is kind of getting kind of pricey." <laughs> What's up, goof? How are you, man? Good to see you there, pal. All right, see what else we got here on this uh, drop deck. So we've got. Uh, I was trying to find something kind of cool that we maybe haven't seen. Oh, that's cool. It's fishing boat. Where's that going? It's going over to Coeur That's kind of cool. I have not seen the fishing boat load yet. Cargo containers. Uh, we got some bricks, wood boards, reinforcements, yada, yada, yada. Most of these other ones are kind of simple. F I like the columns and the barriers. Those are kind of cool. Uh, let's roll Let's roll these fishing boat over, and then we'll uh, then we'll switch up trailers there, man. What's up? Oh, shoot. Dadgummit. All right, we got we to gotta make this go away. Some sounds in a 900 I need to get rid of. Whoops. I don't want to do 9 o'clock. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, probably have to pick a new job. Yeah, oh, where's that going? Oh, it's going to Portland now. Aww. 
<laughs> you shoot model model railroading. <laughs> no thanks, man. Oh, there's a freaking super cobra. Andrew James. Oh, he's a resubbed up for another three months. I was about to say Andrew James been around for a while, man. Yeah, we gotta do the attack kilos going to going to Seattle. What the heck, man? Let's throw a freaking super cobra on the back of a drop deck. I wonder if it's a model or it looks like a full size thing. Let's go pick this up, man. Oh, I guess we're picking it up here at the rail export. Yeah, he's got four in this truck, man. It's uh, it's uh, so I've got the carbon fiber and it's got the Pacific blue, uh, which is very nice. Uh, but he's got like the red and the gray and. Um, I think he's got another. He's got like a dark brown and a brown, I think, in there and something like that. Ha <laughs> ha, Winter Wolf. Oh, Joker, man. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. All right, let's see what this attack helicopter looks like. Oh, my God. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha, it's actually pretty cool, man. That kind of looks small, though, but... I don't know. Maybe it's that small. I don't know. What's our military guy say, man? <laughs> Mister. <laughs> oh man, what a tool. <laughs> Uh, we'll throw the link here when we get there, Berserker. <laughs> Fair enough, Donovan. <laughs> Uh, Justice Slay, make a Bible so annoying. Oh, you talking about... Oh, you're talking about the truck. You must be a little bit behind in the stream. Somebody tell him to refresh. Might need to refresh his uh, stream there. Uh, Justin, we can do... A, we probably can. There's not really a ton on this truck, though. It's... it's. I don't want to say it's... it's. I don't want to say it's limitless uh, in its customization, but it also doesn't have a lot. Got a couple different cabs and a couple different grills, but I don't know. Like to me, this was just an ultimate, like kind of a classy, you know, flat top build. It wasn't really, I don't know. I don't know if it was enough to really do a full fledged build and drive on this one. It would have been a short one at that. I figured get out and drive this thing, showcase it, man. Tell you guys to go grab another good free truck because we always do payware on here. You know, everything we do costs money, which is fine. I mean, it's a big deal. You guys know. Yeah, well, I'll uh, I'll dig it up here and give you guys here a link after uh, we get to uh, Seattle. Are we going? It's 660 miles. No, nothing. I'll throw you guys a link. Then we'll pick out something else. You guys can pick out something else from the trailer arsenal FTG, and we'll we'll pull another load. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought, Justin. I mean, it's just a classic. It's really not too much. We don't have too many. Uh, we don't really have too many. Uh, um, uh, too many options on it but too many paints and that kind of stuff since it's just brand new i'm sure some things will probably come out um here in the next little bit we can uh, we can add to use it uh yes it is there captain the best setup but uh, what do you mean setup you mean the wheel setup Dark Sun Gaming, what's up, buddy? It's been a while there, Dark. How are you, man? Hope you're doing good, man. Uh, what's up there, JJ Gaming? Um, so, if you want to notice, I think someone else had asked about setting up for uh, set up for for, for, for uh, ATS, ETS, all that for the ladder. So, here's what I always say, um, especially as it relates to wheel setups. Um, you need to make sure that whatever you buy is going to be what you want to stay with for a while. And what I mean by that is, 
like if you want to do racing sims or if you have any inclination of once you have a will or once you make the investment uh, it's not to say that you can't sell it and then you know buy something else but typically you always wind up spending more money that way because you never get out of it what you put into it um, but if you wanted to have more say have your will say maybe in a year you might want to get something else like uh, oh, I don't know project cars 3 is fixing to come out or at least they're starting to put stuff out there say you want to do this you want to do that you can certainly do that with low-end wheels but you get a better user experience if you want to put a little bit more money into your wheel so I guess the first decision is making sure whether or not you want to just stay cheap and you're cool with ATSB and just the G29 or the 920 or um, you know even the Thrustmaster series all of those entry wheels make really good wheels um, TMX I've heard is really good I've never personally had one I have the TSPC which I absolutely love it's the only one um, it's the only piece of uh, Thrustmaster gear that I've kept just because honestly I've liked it um, uh, but it is a little bit more on the higher end uh, for Logitech prices but um, but it's it's good so I think you know if you were to ask me I'd say either one of those TMX uh, or the pros from Thrustmaster or the 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 G29s, the, 9, the, the 933 just came out, I believe is what it is for Logitech now. So, I mean, those are solid setups for ATS. I will say on the shifter, though, if you want to get into, you know, whether or not you have your semi shift or one of those from A plus B software, uh, if you want to buy a custom one, make sure you at least get a T8HA uh, or maybe think about investing into the Fanatec. But the T8HA for ATS uh, should pretty much service anything you really need. So, What's up, C Payne? Good to see you, man. That's right, man. Justin Thompson is right, man. Or Thompson, you do get what you pay for. Um, you know, I've, I've been, I haven't really been burned yet. Uh, I bought basic entry level stuff, and and I've been for the most part, man. I've been really, um, I've been really happy with it. I really have. It, it's been, it's everything I've had has been good. It's been solid, and uh, I don't regret anything. I, I do regret um, buying things too fast. And if I had another piece of advice, we don't just go out and buy it just because you have to have it now. Um, if you can get the next thing or save up for a few more weeks and get a, a better whatever it is that you want, say, well, I can go spend $180 to get a TNHA now, or I can wait a couple of weeks and I can go get the Fanatec. I'd say wait and get the Fanatec. That's just me. Uh, and that's for me anyway. That's what I'm going to start doing instead of rushing, rushing in too fast. So, But anyway, that's me. Yeah, so, uh, but you're getting a semi shifter. Uh, so I would, I would say, just try to binkers, just try to get the G29 with the pedals without the shifter, because you won't. The, the shifter is plastic, and if you want to get any kind of a custom shifter on it, it's not going to be stiff enough to hold it up. <laughs> no jokes, anybody. No jokes. So I'd at least try to get the T8HA separate. That's what I. That's what I like to do. Merc Gaming, what's up, man? KP8205, John with two truck looks sick it is free sick it is free sick yes f-r-e-e -E. free josh we are cruising uh to seattle with an apache attack helicopter on the back here which this is a little uh, uh this must be the little apache because it's not a full-size apache <laughs> deshaun what's up man from florida i think or you too honey from texas someone else said hey earlier and i totally lost you man uh Said you said hey and tag my name. Hey back. Hope you're doing good, man. And make sure I've got two files in there. I went ahead and threw the sound fix file in there so the creatures uh, uh, sounds will show up on this thing. So if you guys want to have creatures sound pack for the FLC, grab both of those links. And also go support XBS. These guys are doing a killer job with some of these free trucks. Go throw them five bucks for a cup of coffee or just just to say thanks and say hey, appreciate. Uh, what you're doing of the community. Thanks for the truck. Uh, thanks for your continued hard work and and uh, all the crap he's going to have to deal with. Jason Williams, up, man. Andrew Lloyd, hello, hello, hello. Merck, I use the Fanatec. So I have my whole shifters built on a Fanatec. And I'll use that Fanatec from everything from rally to NASCAR to ATS to ETS. I'll use it for everything. It is full sized. Is it Apache? Is it that small? 
<laughs> it just seems so small. I think the cab of my truck is bigger than that helicopter. How much does it weigh? 43,000, I believe. Oh, no, 16,000. Sorry. I don't know where I got 43. Maybe maybe everything's 43,000. I don't know. Yeah, it seems kind of light to me. I don't know. So, Rito's mod, the W900, is it good? It's always a little bit sketchy about his mods, man. I don't know. Oh, it's a Cobra. Sorry. Well, they've got it. They've got it lit. They've got it labeled wrong. Man, we're buzzing 82. Good lord. Whew. Yeah, I think they. Uh, I actually think they have this labeled as a an Apache. Oh, it is Super Cobra. It's 8 AH. Oh, okay. My bad. I stand corrected on many fronts. <laughs> oh, 43 stars are paying me. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you guys know what's going on because I got no flipping idea. I will say, I think he's got the best carbon fiber dash, though. It's a lit, it, it's a legit carbon fiber dash. It's really like it, man. Nah, we're uh, we're in Washington today, man. Yeah, we actually took a break from all the modded stuff and uh, decided to go back and do it, do a little vanilla action. I've been working with the new. Uh, oh, so let me let me ask Chat, man. Does anybody have um, or let's see? Do you, do you have or have you driven on the new Ice Road map? Uh, no, Josh. We don't do that here. Because one of these days, it's going to be a redneck in North Carolina charging the courthouse with AR-15 wanting to protest something. Think about it. If you take their right to protest away, they get to take yours away. Just saying. Just saying. No politics, but what goes around comes around. That's what everybody learns in, in, in if you live long enough. <laughs> Josh is like, yep. Yep, someday, someday Billy Bob's gonna strap up with his fanny pack that's camouflaged and he's gonna go down there like he's in Ghost Wild Wildlands Recon. <laughs> yep, yeah, and then it's all gonna be different when they say you can't do that. <laughs> Are the switches animated? Uh, let me check. Let's see. Yes, engine brake is. But they actually. Oh, they actually labeled it as the Jacob's Brick. Uh, fifth wheel slide. Now, I don't know if this thing will slide to fifth wheel. So we need to go this way. Let's see. Bright lights. See yeah, all those switches are. Let's see if the key is. Where's the key? Yes, the key's animated. Um, yes, lights are. Yeah, it looks like everything is, bro. I see a road lights. Trying to see what else, uh, what else I have. Uh, let's see if I have any kind of a beacon. I don't have a beacon light. Yep, everything at least that I've got. That's pretty cool, man. Uh, the pedals aren't. It's got a pretty sick shifter boot on this thing. Look at that. It's pretty sick, actually. He's got like the cheap eating fuller shifter top on it, too, and he's got that nice slick quilted boot. <laughs> oh, man. No, I don't think it is, Josh. I think, um, I hate Seattle, man. I always get crossed up coming in here. I think it's uh, I think it's back on the one to nineteen. You're thinking of the Dalton, the Alaska Dalton map. That one is a one to one. It's your own module, but this one actually, the Ice Road map actually uh, fits inside of your. Um, it fits inside your uh, just your regular mods. Like you can run it with uh, with other mods and stuff. Is that the? I was about to say, it must be the reverb of the uh, railroad crossing. Windows, yep, cranks roll, yep. Cranks are good, man, that's good. That's a lot of animation in this truck. It's cool, man. I never liked high screw truckers. I thought, I thought all that stuff, man, all of it's just a big show. Let's see how dramatic we can make it. It's like crab fishing. You know, you think about it, how much drama was baked into Deadliest Catch? Let's just, can we talk about that for a second? 
I used to love that show, and then I realized all this had to be like fake drama because these guys literally do the same thing for 36 hours at a time with five hours of sleep. The same thing never changes. Where are you supposed to drop that? Oh, that's a. Uh, where's this one going? Oh, okay. All right. I kind of think so, Ethan. <laughs> I kind of think so, man. Well, I think that's I think that's it, man. They gotta have the drama, Josh. If not, man, then uh, you know it's like, well, what to do on the show this week, guys? Well, hey, you can come at me with the knot. What that? What the? What the? What got stuck? Oh, the missiles are collisions. Well, that's no good. That's no muy bueno. Somebody just probably died right there. If the firing pin wasn't on the back. <laughs> Yeah, you would like the housewives chaos. <laughs> That's my jam, FTG. That's my jam. Yeah, what would have made this even better is if... Uh, oh, crap. I always forget this part. Now, this is the part I don't know that we'll make it through. Wait, how are you supposed to... I'm not touching anything. Very limited as to what I can do at this moment. Yeah, it's not gonna let me through there. Well, that sucks. All right. There we go. All right, let's dig you guys up a link. I kind of like doing this. We kind of yes, yes, those elite though, yes, because it never fails. You know, when when you when you don't need it, you don't have it. I mean, wait a minute. When you don't need it, you don't. Wait a minute. You don't. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, okay. Let me go back. Here it is. All right, so let's go find a drop deck for you guys. I should pull this stuff up before I just forgot to. It's weird. Some of this stuff you can find from all different kinds of places. That's what I hate about Facebook. You got to join every group to find out where people are posting their crap. It's always amazing. Benson drop deck ownable. All right. Here you go, guys. Free trailer and a free truck tonight. Everything's free except for the graphics mod. There you go, guys. Yeah, there you go. When you when you when you don't have it. Yes, but when you when you don't need it, right? Exactly. <clears throat> Timbo Sleasy. What's up, buddy? Todd Sullivan, what's up? Ice Road mod. Uh he's got a Discord. Um I don't remember to be honest with you. Um did I see that? Uh, I think I saw it on the forums. If you go back to the SES, if you go back to the SES mods forums, uh, go down to uh, I think it's mods, and then you go over to maps, and then you'll see his should be one of the top ones there. And it's recent too, like you know, last like two days or whatnot. It is a free truck. It is. Yeah, Ethan. Yeah, I'm 21. <laughs> um, is it John Rudas? No, Jamie. Nope, it's free. It's XBS. Uh, so XBS is the same guy that did. Um, it's the same guy that did. Uh, what you call it? Um, the auto car and the DT. Was the DT car the auto car? Uh, those are both off the form as well. Um, all right, so here is, I've got a couple here that I thought, we'll give you guys a couple, I, I, I kind of wouldn't mind pulling this belt trailer again. Somebody asked in the last stream if I'd pull the belt trailer, and I've got that. 
Uh, I've also got a nice logger trailer. We've got this. Um, uh, we've got some of these, which are really cool. Polar deep, the deep drops, more like a fluid, like a water tank, um, and so typically clean stuff. Uh, the dry bulk's cool. We've pulled that a few times. I've got some reefers in here. Uh, let me see if I've got. Um, I don't know if you guys remember or not. Let me let me back up here. Let me see if this thing. Uh, it doesn't look like it's... I don't know that I have it loaded on this one. So I did have the custom... Okay. Well, I thought I had it in here. I guess I don't. So, okay. Maximizer. And we got the polar fuel tanker, deep drop, flatbed. This is what we were pulling the other night. I actually found out of whatever it was like, giving us our issues last night was that one. So, uh, that one place. So, yeah. Uh, so, so you can't play single player. Well, yeah. Uh, you, so, solo, you can do that whenever um, whenever TMP updates to 138. That's the only way you're going to be able to do that. Um, <laughs> 22. Do I like the Rack League? Eh. It's okay. It's all right. No. Good deal there. Awesome gamer. Fuel tanker. Witch hit belly train. Oh, yeah. Yeah, witch hit wood. look good. It will look good. How are you, Jake? How do you get the truck? You just download it, Riz. Just click the link in the description and go download it. It's free. It's like any other mod. Um, all right, so fuel. Let's see. Let's see if the fuel and I assume it will work. Let's see what we got on this bad boy. That's that's a nice trailer. We pull that on the on the FLC. Does that look okay? Looks <laughs> looks okay. <laughs> looks pretty good. All right, so we got lights on here. All right, so you can do mud flaps all around. You got exclusive markers. We already got the wheels. It is shiny, brand new, man. I know. All right, we'll pull that. Um, dismiss that one. Maybe we'll come back. We'll pull that. Uh, we'll pull that uh, Trinity trailer. We'll pull it last. We'll pull a load or two with this. I thought so too. There, CJ. Let's see where we can. Uh, we'll just see if we just pull straight out of Seattle here. <clears throat> Is that from that's Tacoma? Oh, it's not gonna let me zoom in. Seriously. All right. There you go. Let's hop over to Idaho. You want to go to Idaho? Let's go to Idaho. Pull some diesel fuel down to the Drake car dealer. They need some diesel. Diesel. Going to have to drive down to uh, Tacoma. There she is. Oh, look at that trailer. It's so beautiful. Y'all want to link to that one? I know you do. Um, actually, uh, let's see, which one was that, CJ? Which one was that? Oh, yeah, the dry bulk. Yeah, dry bulk tanker. Yeah, that's a good one. That's another one that was, like, pristine. <laughs> like, you know, it doesn't have an ounce of dirt on it. I agree. And this one's free as well, my folks. Yes. Man, it's like a... I go, you get a trailer, you get a truck. Who wants another trailer? Let's give out another one. See, that's the cool thing. I don't I don't put all those links down in the descriptions and stuff. I just, I forget, man. I, I get in tomorrow, man, and the kids are going crazy, and I'm trying to do stuff, and I'm like, man, I don't have time for this. <laughs> I just don't, I don't forget and do it, so. Hey, I'll try to try to try to be better about dropping some links here in chat for you guys so y'all can, you know, watch for a few minutes and then get something out of it. Even if it wasn't a good time, at least you got a trailer out of it, right? <laughs> Let me fly over the load. Well, I, you know, today's a little different. We got a little bit more time though, man. I, it is Saturday night for one, and uh, we didn't do any kind of like big drone out setups for this either, so. We can uh, do a little, do a little uh, tripping. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 
Oh, man, two different... <laughs> oh, thank you there, Chaos. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> too many free things to get to throw some money. Oh, well, there you go, man. Well, I appreciate that, man. I'm glad y'all just throw it my way, man. That's, uh... That's, it's all good, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, y'all think Chaos, he was, uh... He's responsible for the engine sounds pack, because I swear I went through, like, 20 pages looking for this sound patch mod he was talking about. And come to find out, I was, like, on page 60. I was like, yeah, I didn't make it to page 60. <laughs> it just made me, uh... You know, we maybe went, you know, 15, 20 pages, and I was like, ah, I can't look for this no more. Sure enough, you had to go to 60. I was like, oh, okay, well, that'd be why. It's a little bit long, so. I have a good CJ. I'm glad, man. Um, so, uh, so Jamnik, what you want to do is you want to unzip that. So uh, make sure you got a program like uh, WinRAR is a good one. 7-zip works, 9-zip works. Uh, those are all Windows-based programs out of their store. Um, so all you need to do is un unzip it from that. Uh, basically, a RAR file is just a more compressed, different arrangement of folders, a compression method. It's the same as a zip. Um, it just compresses a little bit better for uh, file transfer purposes. So if you guys can download WinRAR, that will uh, get it unlocked. And when you get it unlocked, it's literally a, an SES file like all of your other mods. So. What's up, Wolf? How are you, man? Good to see you, bud. Yes, Sebastian. So basically, that is just the patch for the truck that allows you to be able to see Creature's sound pack. So you need to have Creature's sound pack. His 3.1, which is in the forums as well. Just go over to the sounds tab and you'll see his. Um, that's all you need to do. And then put this mod above your 3.1 sounds and you're golden. Then it'll show up. Uh, yeah, Redneck Racing Glove, it should. A little out of place. I don't know the last time I saw an FLC bull in the tanker that shiny, but still, nonetheless, it is a very, uh, it's a very pretty truck. I mean, pretty trailer. Shelton, we're rolling the uh, Cummins Triple Four. It's kind of become my, uh, it's become my fave, man. even out in the sun it looks like I have more of a tan. <laughs> yeah, that's the same awesome gamer. So um so a little bit there um um well that I, I know I know Zlito, I know, man. I, I got I to gotta get better with that, man. I just learned skinning. Um, that, you know. So I, I at least learned a little bit about the structure of everything. So I'm, I'm at least getting get my way. <laughs> Jake, man. <laughs> Always knowing how to make me feel really weird and insecure on the street. Appreciate that. I had to stop wearing tight shirts because of you, Jake. <laughs> oh. Here we are, attack him. Too much to hold us. <laughs> oh, man. Not weird at all. Not weird at all. <laughs> I can't believe nobody's... I can't, I can't believe nobody's going to correct me on Takuma. Y'all going to let me get away with that, man? tell you one of my favorites Joselito I think it was from Robin Ica's pack it was the Detroit his Detroit diesel was about my favorite 
engine sound ever. It was good. <laughs> y'all, st y'all, st <laughs> wow, y'all still gonna let me get that's it's Tacoma, Tacoma, Washington. I can't believe where's Mike Pentagrass? Is Mike in the house? Because Mike, well, I can't believe you're letting me get away with, with uh, Takuma. He's get he's like he's he's got to be he's got to be kidding man. There's no way Mike Pentagrass is gonna get let me get away with that. Let's see, wait a minute, are we right here? I think we are. Nope. Let's move on the back side. <laughs> well, that was, uh, yeah, that was a little, little bit on purpose there. I'm just trying to keep Chad awake here. I think, oh, you're, you're missing uh, by 100 RPM there between 5th low and 5th high. Maybe you could just burp the gas just a little bit there. It can uh, help you shift that better. Meanwhile, say Takuma, nothing's no, no, nothing, nothing. <laughs> well, there's our record load. Our record doesn't work in 138. Let me get that update in there. <laughs> what, did I say something? Nah. Nah, everybody got the free links, big Jim. They do stout. <laughs> See you later, man. Have a good one. And there's the other one. Uh, there's that uh, that center drop there. Other polar tanker. Pretty slick. <laughs> oh, Jake's dead on that one. Yeah. Meanwhile, Takuma. Sounds legit. I don't know. I went too good with geography back in school. <laughs> oh, okay. Man, I'm going to stop. Oh, it's dark time. Oh. <sighs> I'll see what the headlights look like. Uh, kind of dim. Too bad with the bright zone. Honestly, I don't know either. It might be a JBX thing. I always feel like all the headlights now says 138, so they did this whole SSAO thing. I don't know if it has any any bearings with it, but gosh, man, I feel like all the headlights are just dark. And it might be a JBX. It might just be the I don't know the desaturatedness of the world just doesn't have as much bloom and pop, you know. I don't know. <laughs> What's up, Ron? <laughs> you like driving there at nighttime? I don't. I always feel like, you know, you get a good enough idea what the dash looks like. And like, I look at, up there at my, at my preview and I'm like, oh, it's just basically a black hole and you've got this teeny tiny little spot there in the middle, so. Oh, couldn't have been more but spent a bunch on a couple of rooted trucks. Hey, fair enough, man. You'll enjoy those rooted trucks, man. I appreciate that, too, there, John522. $20 donation there. Could have been more, but he spent it on John Ruta. Well, I have to have a talk with John Ruta to see if he can part, some of the, part way with some of that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, man. Did it light up a football field? I will say the uh, realistic lighting was a good mod. Um, I feel like it had broke. Um... Maybe at 137, maybe? 136 or 7, it didn't work, but and then I took it out, and I know it got updated, but I don't know if it got updated here to uh, to today's turn, but I, that's a really... I always like that one, because it gives a little bit more realistic look to the headlighting all the way. Bad luck, this is uh, the Polar uh, Tanker uh, from Mr. Keith Davis. I'll throw you guys a link here when we get to uh, going to Coeur d'Alene, I think. Where are we going? Yeah, going up here to the Drake cars. Idaho needs some diesel. <laughs> Raphael, what's up, buddy? Kareem, what's up? <laughs> yeah, can't do it here. 
Man, I need to I need to find this. I don't know what the uh, the blinker in the. What if I've got a sound bank for the nine hundred? It's not working. I don't think I have this. Oh, it's the same one. It's blinker. It does not like it. I wonder if that's in this car in this truck. And he's using the Kenworth nine hundred default. Hmm. Interesting. I guess it'd be right because I don't hear a signal. Hear that? No signal. Uh, this one's not. No. Uh, the heel trigger that uh, the, the heel tanker that I have is a dry bulk tanker. Uh, this is a polar. Think it. Yeah, it says right there on the back. Or it's a polar. Nathan uh, maxed out and a 1080 Ti. Corey, what's up, man? Kai, Tim, hello, hello. Man, well worth it. I'm sure it was. What'd you get? Did you get all the all three all three of them there, John, or did you get a couple in particular? Yeah, time is very relevant driving through the majors. That's <laughs> uh, good, man. <laughs> It's Pilar, Carlos. It's Pilar. This means the fuel's more expensive when it gets to the store, that's all. It's not a polar cold, it's a Pilar cold. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ice clinking around in the jar. Yeah. And put anybody to sleep. I tell you what, man. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Let's just be honest, man. Everybody knows why you go listen to see uh, ASMR. Hey, don't, don't anybody try to tell you it puts you to sleep. It ain't that that puts you to sleep. I can tell you that right now. It's Pilar. It's Pilar Bear. <laughs> uh, I'm in one of those moves tonight, man. I know, you know, to, uh, to be honest with you, I, I um, you know, I've had some things, um, uh, probably the past two or three weeks, man, at night especially, it's just been a lot busier than what it has been. I mean, it's just we're getting the kids ready for for school stuff during the day, and I mean they've got virtual learning and all that other crap. We wife's been taking care as much of that as possible, and I've been doing more out in the shop. I've actually, been building a table for a, a guy here in my area local, and uh, I've been working on that thing out. I'll tell you what, I mean, you know go out there and do some of that kind of work during the day and in this heat in an unair conditioned shop man it gets hot <clears throat> you come in and it's doing a lot more uh, a lot more stuff which has been good but it's also kind of hurts treatment and some of the other stuff plus getting ready for flight sim and trying to reposition setup stuff and doing all kinds of stuff but i tell you what man it's uh i'm, I'm good to see uh, a lot of you guys here man it's been a uh, it's been a kind of a good return back here on saturday night so i wanted to start last night but i didn't quite make it um got a, i was pretty much outside all day yesterday and i got in i was wiped i was like chair i was gone so appreciate you guys coming out tonight thanks for all those donors and thanks for guys like that but justin t is uh is starting up here first gear members thank you there justin t my name's justin beast nice to meet you there people call me the beep not really there you go thank you man appreciate that It rhymes with police, polar. Maximizer, yeah, that's a good one. Don Mar is new. What's up, man? I like this ride, man. This, uh, so cutting all the way across here, let's see, let me get, get, if I can get the big map on here. So cutting across the 90, and actually, um, we'll see it above, the one that goes through Burns and Ontario, like that, the, the second, like, like the more mid-round of, uh, Oregon, 
uh, are two of my favorite interstate routes, at least that go east and west. Of course, I guess you know all these essentially dump through Idaho, but um, still, this is a this is a really nice one. I like the 90; it's good. Yeah, see the trunk? Yeah, sure, man. I totally just got. I get in cruise mode. You guys got to snap me out of it. Feel free to always ask for the truck or the trailer. It's, it's always good. Dread game. What up, man? I'll answer the FTB. Only tonight, though. Let me get that tonight. I still want to answer the full tilt, though. Just FYI, if anybody is curious. So here it is. Uh, if you just joined us, man, first off, well, welcome to the stream. Um, and, uh, and here it is. Uh, we got two freebies for you today. Uh, well, actually, we've got a couple because we just rolled a... Um, just rolled a Benson drop deck. We just flung a, uh, uh, flung a link up there for you guys here after that load. Uh, I'll give you guys a link here to the Polar uh, Tanker. This has working loads and updated for 138 by Mr. Keith Davis. He is uh, he's solid as they come, man. He's been doing a killer job with some of these classic trailers we had in the owner's market. Now we actually have loads, and uh, he's doing all kinds of really cool, great work with some of these uh, old trailers that have basically modders have just kind of moved on with new projects or, or they don't even play the game or mod anymore so so i'll dump you guys a, a link to that and also uh the uh, freightliner flc new by sbs uh, xbs sorry he um is the guy that did the auto car off the ses forums uh which is kind of the old square body classic uh auto car truck mod and the, I said the dt car i think was there was two trucks there uh, but at any rate, this is his newest Freightliner FLC, which is kind of like the classic, but it's a little more, uh, I'll say a little more squared off. So this would be more closely resembled to like something like the Marmon um, that we have. It'd be there around the same year models. I believe that one is an 87. This is an 88. And there's also an 83 hood um, that comes on this truck as well. So it's got an 83 body style variant and also an 88, 88 body style variant. So it's good. It's good. <laughs> Polar. Demand above says, what's up, FTG Nation? We're not quite a nation. We're, we're a football stadium. Yeah, we're a football stadium full of guys. Yeah, it doesn't make it weird at all, right? Now, what, 40, 41,600? So, it's, uh, yeah, 41,000. Stadium, so we're good. <laughs> Thomas, yes, they're all free today. <laughs> Everybody just like, woo! <laughs> yeah, full tilt. Yeah, I don't know what happened to him. I think he just left. I think he went over to Twitch, honestly, but then I don't think he's. I don't know. I haven't kept up with Twitch in a while. I thought I could do that in racing, and yeah, it turns out I really can't. It's like, I'll just have to race on YouTube. Yeah, there's a lot of peeps, man. And we'd have overflow at the Carolina Panther Stadium. I think they seat like, is it 36,000 or 37,000? So you think about all your subscribers fit into an entire stadium for a professional football team. It's pretty incredible, so. Oh, you put it that way, uh, yeah, makes you pretty proud. Yeah, a lot of people don't, man. Twitch, Twitch just got out of the game, man. To be honest with you, I, I think uh, you know they had the right idea before. I mean, they were making some. And they even approached me about coming over and doing ATS. We're basically going to offer uh, offer me a partnership to come over there and stream ATS and bring the ATS community over there. I just by the time I did it, man, it's when Facebook Gaming started, and it's like literally all the trucking guys said bye. They left Twitch, they left YouTube, and they all shucked right into Facebook. So, um, kind of, kind of weird how all of that unfolded right, right in front of everybody's face. But yeah, man, I felt sorry for anybody that went over to Twitch at that time, man, because that was a, that was a sucky time. I don't even know why I'm flipping. Those. I don't have sounds on my blinkers. Got to fix these blinkers. <laughs> There's your name. <laughs> All right, Jake. Well, I'll take that, man. Oh, yeah. Pingus 389. Yeah, man. That's a good one. It was leaked, though. It's a good one, man. <laughs> 
You know, babe, you know what, Captain? We could do what they do on Twitch. We could pull up a sub bar, right? And then we could put on there like say 10, 10 subs for the for the week or ten whatever. And then we could, you know, like all the ASMR girls, you know, like, hey, let me get five more subscribers for twenty more minutes. <laughs> I probably wouldn't work with y'all. Yeah, but like, yeah, whatever. I'm done watching when I got in here. Got the links and I'm going. We'll see you later, FTG. Bye. Yeah, that, that's what'll happen. All right, guys, need five more subs. Twenty more minutes of driving. Twenty more minutes of driving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it, Ryan. Let's try and give a thousand likes. We're gonna go all the way to the end of the stream tonight, man. Yeah, Blakers are for Trumps. I'm out for Trumps. <laughs> Jumps. <laughs> Alright, guys, look at that five more subs for 30 more minutes of clicking my mouth around these awkward set of ear microphones <laughs> oh man <laughs> there you go psycho yeah some people are probably like turn them down dead Kevin I'll sub if you just if you'll just natural neutralize your voice to the you know re-ratio your voice to the engine sounds it's too loud we always have a couple of those in there psycho always a couple of those hot Carlos it's hot. It was actually decent today, but man, it's it's for the most part, man, it's been really hot. Yeah, no, that's, I probably wouldn't do that bull. <laughs> I've never really pushed, uh, you know, the subs and the member stuff on. I, I don't know. I always feel like if people want to do it, man, they know it's there. Uh, you know, I got a little ticker reminds people. Uh, there you go, sponsoring the stream. But, uh, you know, man, people do what they do. I, I just, I kind of hate that. Like, I don't. What are you gonna get in 20 more minutes? So we just wait till tomorrow, cause what if that, that like 20 more minutes if you're not asleep? So I'm gonna gift five subs so I can go to sleep tonight. Like what? Who does that? <laughs> what? I wish that's something YouTube would allow to do, like gifting of subs and stuff. You know? I wish they would do that. That'd be that'd be nice. They're missing, they're missing the mark there gifting memberships to other members that might otherwise couldn't afford it. Kind of cool. uh, it's the patch for it, Jimnix, so you gotta have Creatures 3.1, which you can find in the SES forums uh, or you can find it from his YouTube channel, either one. Uh, and the Creech Bomb is, you just Google it, it's really easy, he's got a, it's, his videos are very easy to find. Um, and uh, yeah, so you can go check those out. Um, and that's just the patch for it. So make sure that, that file is above the other one, alright? Oh, I still like that Jake Mance. I like these little two, three hundred mile trips. They're nice. It's a mean looking truck, man. I always like square front ends. I don't care if they're small or sub nosed, snub nosed, or like 389. Like, you know, even if it's an extended hood, like, it doesn't matter, man. I just, I just like this is my favorite models of trucks, man. That late 80s and up until the 90s. Even the, even the cab overs, man. I, I still like those. 352. It's pretty slick. Needle nose, eh, I guess. I don't know. You guys, I, guess, I don't know. I just like the beefy front ends, man. That's like um, uh, Cash Shadow Walkers. You know, he's got the 9300. He's got the, um, he's got that big old Dodge, man. I just like those squared off front ends, man. It's look beefy. Never been a needle nose fan. Eh. I agree. I agree, Cap. We're gonna have a raffle for this trailer when we're done. <laughs> Uh, Dakota, thank you there. Appreciate the sub, man. Hey, everybody hates the Volvo, except for Louie. Louie's been around for a long time. You guys know him as checks in the mail, but uh, yeah, he, he loves him a Volvo, man. He is a, 
He has been a Volvo man since the day I think he drove one. I think I made everybody drive a Volvo just to create a meme. And we actually wound up having a couple of guys that really, really, really liked it. And I think he was one of them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was like, I actually kind of like this truck. It's like, yeah, it's actually not a bad truck once you get past the, you know, the name and everything else. <laughs> I like him an ETS. I, I'm not a huge fan of the Volvo, uh, you know, on, on ATS, but I actually like him on ATS. They're good. Yeah, the pink Volvo combo. And it might be. Pam. Absolutely not paid truck. No, sir. Or, or, or no, ma'am. Uh, this is free. Links are in the description. This is a brand new one by XBS. Brand spanking new. Maybe a couple days old. But it is free. Yeah, the one in game. Uh, agreed, Psycho. Agreed. Yeah, because that one in game is actually quite old. It's kind of like the... Uh, it, it, <laughs> This is what people are going to be whenever the old Cascadia comes out. Like, the new Cascadia is way nicer, way more awesome, even if it's a fleet truck. Like, I don't care. It still is awesome. Um, and then and then they're going to give everybody, like, the older <laughs> the older Cascadia. Or, like, you know, the bubble of front lights and that kind of, like, weird, like, half grill in the front, you know. Everybody's going to be like, uh, this is a bit old, ain't it, guys? Like, it's going free truck. You're like, everybody's going to be like, no. When's the next truck coming out, SCS? Yeah, that, that's 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 pretty typical of how we are. <laughs> I know free. I, I know. I know free such a, it's such a, it's the four-letter word we don't say in street very much. <laughs> uh, oh, man. What's up, Kevin? How are you, man? Good to see you, bud. Yeah, you're right to here, man. We're about to, uh, I'm about to set something there. We're about to get off our exit here. Already a quarter lane already. 20 miles. go beautiful and it's even got these actually showed up from pingus trucks they even got some some snazzy lights up there on the top at flicker and flash <laughs> it's kind of nice what's up caleb <laughs> yeah 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 i know it was elito i know It's not in the workshop. It's in the, uh, it's for one, their truck driver, it's in the description of this video. And two, it is in the forums. It's not on the Steam Workshop. Ah, uh, we'll follow. Why not? We'll follow some. Nicer, Don Martin. Ben, I'm fixing to give it to you, buddy. It is the uh, the Polar. Uh, it's just uh, just a fuel tanker, and it's got good loads with it. Updated to 138, so it is ready to rock and roll, my friend. I'll uh, I'll check it up here in the chat once we get parked. Misfit Trucker there. Thank you there, man. Thank you for the $5 Super Chat there. I'd love this game played on a 34-hour reset. Wow. 34-hour. I'm Traffic Mod. I do not, Chris Lee Bear. Clever name. I do not. It is, it is uh, all SES. 
I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I haven't figured that one out yet. How many hours do I have in ATS? Way too many. But some of that is honestly not driving. I have to be honest. My hours are not hours of actual game enjoyment playing the game. Like, the only time that I ever actually drive and put miles on is when I'm driving for, for live stream. Like, other than this, I, I, don't, I don't actually drive around. I'm, I'm in game, like, doing tons of testing. And, yeah, the game may be open, but I may not necessarily be driving. But I think I'm up to 2,800. I think. Alright, let's, uh... Actually, yeah, let's, let's, let's try to see... Ooh... The challenge awaits. Let's see what. Let's let's do a little walk back scope out here. I wonder if I can. Hmm. Probably should have. Method to the man, it's just we get a little bit of traffic get by here. No, not quite. <laughs> I had to try it. <laughs> but I was a little bit off. A little bit off. <laughs> you know, it would have been like a YouTube clip of the year had I pulled that off. I don't I don't know that I've I don't know that I've got enough I don't know if I've got enough wheel turn radius to get by these uh See, I could have done that. If I had to cut the wheel at the right time. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, me, oh, my. That FTG guy, man. He's, he's, he's a teaser. All right. I always get the job. What are we at? What are we at now? What are we at? One hour and a half. Y'all got we got we got time for one more, guys. We got time for one more. What's up, Curse? How are you, man? Oh yeah, I guess I need to get y'all a link for this one too. Um let's see. Ooh. Peerless drop center chip fan. I have to pick that up for this truck. Alright, I'm looking for the tanker for you guys. Let's give me a minute. All right, where'd she go? Where'd she go? I saw it. There it is. All right, man. There you go, man. There's y'all another freebie for the night. It's like, I, I should have done this on Friday and just call this Freebie Friday. Um, let's see. Let's see what let's see what let's see what else we got. I don't have the chip van in here, sadly. Um, I'll have to download it because the one I had was out of date. So I have the Benson 
We just did uh, the fuel tanker. Uh, the Fontaine is the one from Pinga. Now that one's payware, so we want to keep up with today. We have to do you know fresh and free. Um, these are uh, John Rudas. We've got a Great Dane flatbed, which is pretty simple. We got the dry bulk tanker, which you guys have seen. Maximizer, y'all have seen. Um, yeah, there it is. We got both of these. The Trinity Belt Cool. Yeah, I know, Jake. I, I I saw it. I've got that. Um, I don't have it in game though. I I need to, I need to re-download. I need to re-download it. Um. Uh, so Jaden Fly Sim comes out Tuesday. Yeah. We can go with the belt trailer, y'all. Let's get belt trailer, man. I like the belt trailer. Let's get me in. Oh yeah, no problem, Carlos. <laughs> If you recognize you get the engine, it's in the description. So the sound patch patches um, Creech Bomb's uh, sounds. So if you want Creech's sounds in the truck, you need to get his 3.1 sound pack and then get the patch that I have in the description. And then that will allow you to have um, Creech's, um, his 3.1 sounds pack with the cats and all the other stuff. Cummings, the triple four, the M11, all those engines uh, here on the FLC. So it's just a patch to make those work with the truck. I, I I would imagine that eventually he's probably going to add support for some different engine packs. But honestly, Creech is the only one that's done anything since Robin Icas took all of his crap down. So, um, all right, I think I've already got that one in here. Let's see. Let's do the belt. The belt trailer is pretty. We can actually make it. Uh, so the Trinity belt trailer is actually from Blades. Um, I think. I don't think this one is free. He sent this to me um, when we were talking about doing some of the other ones. I don't know if this one's free. And I don't want to speak up and say, yeah, it's for free, everybody. Go get it. Tell him I sent you. <laughs> yeah, I don't want y'all to do that. Um, this is a really good one. I like this one. Um, I think it's got... All right, so we got the like really chromed one. I like the little, I like the little more faded one. That looks better. All right, not too many got the wheels on this thing. That's about it. We do all chrome, or yeah, we'll do we'll do painted bottom. Let's actually let's make that black. Let's make that black. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it is paid mod. I thought it was agent. I didn't want to speak up. I think he threw this one in, man, once we uh, once got some trucks and stuff going there. So Alright, let's make that one uh, let's make that one live. We'll go ahead and dismiss the polar. There we go. And pull something. Well, same color as oh now y'all want the same color as truck. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Okay, there we go. All right. Now everybody's happy. All right. Let's go ahead and pick something here in Coeur d'Alene. And they find something a little south. Got some seed. Wood chips. Ba -ba -ba. I don't go too long, but let's, let's get somewhere down the Grangeville... What about Boise? We can get to Boise. We can get to Boise tonight, right? Which we probably won't get Boise. ATS will be like, nah, nah. We know we don't. Oh, oh, there it is. That was three seventy nine. We got that. What thirty five? Yeah, we got that, man. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Do I have birds? No, I don't have birds. Are you kidding me? I have birds. <laughs> <laughs> And voila, there she is. We're gonna have to get the have to get the wrecker out here, man. My wrecker doesn't work. Does anybody else's wrecker not work with 138? I'm just curious. Oh, 
Or maybe it's something on my end, Captain. I'll have to look at my mods. Thank you there, Eric Fish. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> we're, we're going to try not to. We'll try the old trick in the book here. <laughs> Winning! Alright. Oh, doggone it, man. Didn't let it get nighttime on us again. Gosh, 24 miles to pick this sucker up? Good great. <laughs> oh, nice there. Nice cap, yeah. Well, uh, so my record works. It's just the interior doesn't show. And I'm wondering if I've got another conflict with another mod or if it's the truck. That's all I was thinking. Uh, yeah, it, it hit that. I don't know if... Uh, I forgot the moderators that can unfreeze that there for Mike, but yeah, it was a uh, Cummins triple four. Thank you, whoever did that. Uh, Blitzkrieg, I think I just saw your question roll out of you, man. Put that back up in chat and I'll answer it. I, I let's see what it was. All right, here we go. Back on the 90 back down to Boise. Or as I like to call this one. Boy say. Boy say. What the boy say? Ah. That's a load order, Captain. Um, let's see. Who was it? Um, Deuce42 was having problems with that. And um, so I need to I need to send you the corrected load order. If you follow any like I, I've never been able to do John Rudis load orders the way he sends them out. So I will send you mine. Oh, so beefy, man. So need to be over here. Poison. I know. Come on, Mike. Come on, man. That come. Give me, give me no grace, man. None whatsoever. You must have not been in street when I was calling Tacoma Tacoma. <laughs> I was like, where's Mike at? Where's the grammar police didn't show up in stream tonight? I'm disappointed, man. <laughs> disappointed. <laughs> oh, Jaden. They are killer, man. It's going to be good, dude. Jimmy Ar is that Arkea or something, man? I hope I said that right. Uh, whose reef is more detailed? Uh, so Bart's is definitely going to be more detailed. Uh, and I would imagine it's going to look every bit as good. Um, and it'll be one of those things like whoever you go with, you're not really going to be losing out on it. I mean, so here's the thing. At some point, all the nodes, like, are they're fine. But who's really going to sit there and build up a mini of, like, chrome trailers? Though? And they all look the same. Um, you know, typically people have their look they like, and that's the look they go with. Like, very rarely do I buy a truck and say, ooh, I want to drive it as a heavy haul today. And the next day I'm like, ooh, I want a custom truck to drive around. Typically speaking, now, I only do that because you guys want to see it. But if I had my pick, I would customize the truck and make it custom. And then literally throw it down as, like, um... You know, I, I would literally put it in there with a custom chrome reefer every day and just drive it like that. Like, that'd be my speed. That's what I'd do. Um, I wouldn't care if it came as a heavy haul or not, because I'd be like, well, that's a bunch of waste for me, because I'm not going to build it like that anyway. Which is the same on all the other trailers. Most people are just going to build it a certain way. But, it's not to say that you can't have it. I just think, you know, sometimes it gets a little bit much. Um, 
so you know, like Rudas is going to have three trailers for twenty, and Bart's will be eighteen. So, I think at the end of the day, it'll be come down to do people want three trailers or do they want one trailer? If they have the other three, of course they're going to buy Bart's. Man, why wouldn't you? Of course, be dumb not to. I'm like that. Well, I'm away now, Jim. I, yeah, custom classics, man. I like that. Uh, okay, then we're going all the way to the back. So. Of course, I was about to say. I thought we thought we'd get away with one here. Nope. Back that up the tough way here. All right. Let's see. Let's get us a head start here. This truck drives really good say that You know what? Double, I'm not exactly sure. Um, um, so, I, so here's the thing. Most, most modders do not make their mods to work with others. Um, it's just some, like, um, so this kind of gets down in the weeds of ATS, but I'll say it anyway. So some people's like, uh, like Pingas, I find, for the most part work as long as you don't have too many other trucks in with his now I, I think that's got something to do with how it's named but also what the parts are named on the inside of the truck whether or not they're you know used off of something free or whether or not the names have been changed to reflect what they are or I, I don't know I don't exactly know but I know some of those definition files I know it matters how you structure your files uh, and how you label how you lay everything out um, the thing that I notice is a lot of trucks, if you have trucks that, that literally have um, a lot of accessories that blanket all trucks and accessory slots and stuff, then I usually find that I have the most trouble with that. Now, whether or not there's anything to it, I have no idea. But I do notice that when I have trucks that have lots of accessory slots that also use accessories and have pieces like lights, LEDs, strobes, any of that kind of stuff, I always find that I have more issue with them. Um, so, uh, for whatever reason, I think John Ruta's load order works. It, I don't, honestly, he could take that and reverse it and flip it upside down, and it would work. But if you try to group and prioritize your mods, that, that load order's never worked for me. And for the 389, um, that load order doesn't show the interior if you're going to use everybody else's stuff. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just It's just playing around and messing with it. Um, I have all three of his trucks the same way, and I think it's key, truck, and adaptation, and then sounds at the very top. And that's pretty much what I do. But I have like, you know, 60, 70 mods by now, so I don't know, is what it is. Uh, yeah, Thomas, yeah, Pinga's edit, one of his, uh, I don't think that, I don't think that W900's been, I don't think it's been updated in quite some time. What is, oh, I was about to say, what's going on with traffic up here? Yeah, most of the time it's a, most of the time it's a mod issue. Um, you know, it's a mod conflict with others, not a, necessarily a mod with the game. Uh, Money Man, is, it's a little different right now. It's, um, so I say, usually I take Sundays and Mondays off, um, but probably not, I don't know, one of these days I'll take off, um, but probably... 
with Tuesday's flight sim, uh, usually I'm doing Tuesdays, um, a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Those are typically my days that I'm streaming, but I usually try to get my stream scheduled out an hour. It's usually always 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's usually never any other any other time than that. So, Man, this is a short line. There we go. Ugh. All right, so while we're take time to go ahead and we got 370 okay not too bad actually let's uh there we go What's up, Matt Kingston? How are you, man? What's up there, Jay Mason? Four by four. <laughs> Lost your cat motor. Oh. Let's see how fast we can push it. Picking up speed, it's taking a while. We're picking it up. I think though, I think I'm petered out. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, thank you there, Jay Bass. Appreciate it, man. Well, it's alright, man. I'm, it's always always good to have people come back in, man. I enjoy seeing new guys come in just as much as I see some of the old guys come back, man, to hang out. So appreciate that ten dollar super chat, man. Oh, standing on that one. I was, I was hoping, I was kind of hoping something might would happen. Like you know, you get up to like sixty miles an hour, and all of a sudden it would catch, and then you know, fling you in there or something, something fun at the end, you know. Yeah, Doyle, we are giving away a free FLC. <laughs> And two free trailers. And a free sounds pack with instructions on use. <laughs> oh, man. Drive social media. Mm. So I have the... Uh, wait a minute. Do I have singles on this? Oh, I have single wides on this trailer. <laughs> yeah, all right, man. Tonight just gets better, better, better. Um, so I, I don't... Well, I don't. I do. I have Twitter. Um, I actually keep up with Twitter. I don't post a lot just because I don't have a ton of followers of people that are just dying to know what what I had for lunch today. Um, but uh, you know, may, maybe you know, maybe one of these days get some followers that's interested in Twitter. Twitter's just I don't know for some odd reason for me anyway. It's a little bit simpler. I, you just you don't you don't find a lot of oh woo, life flash before eyes. I actually like this. I don't know that I've really noticed all this in here. It's pretty cool. B9 bot, what's up, man? Still great at ATS. Well, well, still playing ATS. <laughs> I wish I had a replay. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, thank you there, man. Appreciate that, B9. It's good to see you, man. Hope you're doing all right. What got me in ATS? Boy, that's a loaded question at the end of the stream, man. All right, let's see if I can give you the short version. We got about 15 minutes left, so I ought to be able to cover it. I'm just kidding. What got me into ATS? Um, content. And that's a, that's a short answer for the reality of YouTube. Yeah, story time. Um, you know, you're... So... Um, I, you know, when you're a streamer, you, you're always looking for uh, content. I mean, you're looking for stuff to you know stream. You're looking for stuff that people are going to want to watch. 
you know, you're trying to find games that are relevant to your base of viewers. You're just, you know, I mean, you're, you're trying to like figure it all out. Um, you know, and I tell this, you know, this kind of part of it early on, what's kind of funny is that I, I really didn't, I had way more views on ETS views. Like I could roll an ETS video out and do like, uh, I did used to cover the open betas and stuff, man, I'd have thousands of views, even as like a young streamer, I'd have thousands of views on that stuff. And I'd barely get a couple hundred views on ATS. And I was like, well, screw this. I'm like, if nobody's going to watch the ATS, then I'll just freaking go over there and drive ETS. And people loved it, man. I had so many uh, people coming in and stuff at night that were all from all over Europe. It was probably the most, like, eclectic group of, like, truckers ever. Because here's this, like, you know, southern guy in the states of North Carolina, uh, you know, is, is over here streaming ETS. And they're like, who the heck is this guy? And they were super nice about it, but it wasn't uh, exactly what they expected when they got in the stream. Um, and then I went on to Gold Rush, and then all of a sudden, I streamed ATS. I did my very first build and drive, and basically it was all over from there. You know, I mean, I didn't I didn't do what some of these other guys have done on Facebook and whatnot, but I mean, you know, from a YouTube perspective, we went from like, gosh, I was like at 9,000 subscribers and went to like 30K in a matter of a little bit of time. Like, I mean, it was it was over a stretched amount of time, but um, it really built up a big ATS base of viewership. So um, I've just kept doing it, um, partially because it's what people want to see. Um, I still enjoy it. I have to be careful how I play ATS, though. I can't, like, I can't jump in and drive every day and drive every night. If not, I won't want to do it. And I'll just, people will be like, drive the 389, and I'll be like, screw you. And then I'll go play something else, you know? Because I just I won't be able to do it. I won't be able to handle it. So I'd have to pace myself, and you know, well, it's, it's I mean, ETS two is good. It's still in a lull too. Like ATS is in a lull. ETS is kind of just as much of a lull because they're waiting for that DLC to drop. Um, but I'm telling you, man, once one thirty eight goes live with TMP, like we do uh, ETS convoys on Friday, man, that are so much fun. Um, and I don't know why TMP's not updated yet. And I don't know why they haven't told the community, hey, guys, this is why we haven't updated. And then if it was a legit reason, you know, you'd probably, like, have half the community would go, oh, well, that makes sense. You know, wish you'd have told us that, like, oh, I don't know, a month ago. That would have made sense. I mean, it kind of bugs me how everyone's, like, hush, hush, quiet, quiet. Like, we're all waiting to just throw our money into TMP. I'm like, no, we're just waiting to drive. Tell us what's taking so long. And who knows, someone might reach out and be like, hey, I can fix that. It might be a new member of the team. Like, I hate that. Why are we sitting here struggling on this crap when y'all can be reaching out to find someone to help? At any rate, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I, I wanted to bring in a little bit more ETS, but, um, you know, it, it's just... It's just, it's one of those things, man. It's hard to be a variety streamer. I'll be honest with you. It's hard, it's hard to be a, oh, oh, we about lost it all. A little fast, a little fast. Yeah, a little fast. Even though 60 is our speed, not for that turn, it wasn't. Yeah, oh, I knew they, what's up, ham radio? I know they've had problems with that since 137 came out. But it seems like, um, you know, I mean, it seems like they could reach out to SCS and be like, hey, can you guys help? And maybe they are. Maybe they are. I don't know. I mean, SES made them. <laughs> so I think they could help them. Like, it's probably the one thing I guarantee you that keeps a lot of guys really, really, like, involved in, in ATS is when they can do the, you know, do the whole online thing, you know? <laughs> hey, right lane gaming. All right, I got it, man. I got it. I'll hit you up. I'll, I'll write you back something, man. I actually asked chat uh, a little bit uh, a little bit earlier, man. Asked them some uh, some thoughts and questions, so I'll I'll communicate that to you, man. <laughs> you bet they're selling it as yes. Yeah, we kind of thought that. I don't know if they are though. I don't know if they are. It's not a good time to sell it right now. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll sell it to you. Uh, it's funny. <clears throat> it's a game, Jamie. It's a game. <laughs> I 
I'm just kidding, man. I had to. We were talking about that the other night in Discord. <laughs> I jumped on somebody for calling it a game. It's like, no, it's not. It's a simulator. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's a good cup for TMP. Well, at this rate, it feels right way, but, you know, I mean, it is what it is, man. I mean, it sure messes up our Friday and Saturdays, you know what I'm saying? My gosh, man, our Fridays and Saturdays are fun with the convoys. Ain't nothing like, you know, getting 50, 60, 70 trucks together up in a truck stop somewhere in New Mexico and having a big old ride, you know, on Saturday night. Same with uh, ETS, man, on Friday. It's good stuff. It's good. What's up, Shane? I'm good, man. Hope you guys are. Late this month or early September? Well, hopefully, hopefully they hit that mark. Hopefully they do, man. Ah, I missed that one. There it goes. Yeah, I know. I miss those days, too. I said a little hill climb there. What, what are we hauling weight? Oh, it's actually 52,000. That's not a... It's not for this Cummins 40... This uh, triple four, man. It's not exactly a, a heavy load, but it's not exactly a light one, either. <laughs> I guess I can get my button right, Lane, right. All right, so if you are just joining, first off, a welcome. Uh, secondly, uh, secondly, we've got a couple things on now. We've actually got a payware trailer on here for Blades uh, Mod Group. If you're interested in that, uh, I can maybe post a link up here uh, shortly. I need to, I need to get the links for this actually up on his uh, thing. But anyway, if you're interested in this Blades Mod Group on Facebook. Uh, tell him that you're interested in the Trinity trailer, belt trailer, which is all here on FTG stream. But honestly, we give away, uh, not give away, we give two uh, links here to some really good mods. Uh, one of those is the FLC, which is what we're driving. Uh, FLC here is a new one by XBS. He's the same guy that did the auto car mod on the SES forums. You will not find this on the workshop, though, just mind, it, uh, mind you there. Uh, but this is, whoa, this is the FLC. So absolutely awesome truck here done by SB, XBS. Um, and uh, it's got a couple different variations. It's got an 83 hood variant and also the 80, uh, I believe it's the 88. One kind of has the built-in, uh, you know, the built-in fender lights, and the other one has suspended from the grill. Like, kind of like the... Um, that looks like the uh, the 350, like the 359 Peterbilt's kind of what it resembles. But anyway, uh, that's what we've got. Also in the description, you'll find a sound patch link for, oh, too fast, too fast, too fast, too fast, uh, Creech Bombs uh, sounds. So if you uh, want to use Creech Bomb sounds through pack 3.1, put the sound patch that you'll find in the description, put that above it. Um, and I'll try to grab his 3.1 and link that, but you can find it on SES forums. Uh, under the sounds tab as well as his YouTube channel either one. I think he has links to both of them uh, And then we also gave away uh, not give away shoot. I keep saying giveaway, but uh, Oh, which way to go which way to go which way to go Okay, yeah And then we've got the uh, we had the polar um, uh, fuel trailer And what was the other one we did first off all oh, the Benson drop deck did the Benson drop deck. So we got links on both of those at the end of our delivery. I threw the links down there. So what's up there, El Pasado? What's up, man? Andy three or five. What's up? Good, good to meet you, man. Oh, look at there, soulmates. <laughs> I answered that. Not look up there. There it is. J Fox. Yes, sir, it is. So this is the sound patch for creatures coming triple four. So we are in Idaho too as well, just, um, you know. <laughs> yeah, Josh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot of controversy. I, I, I like, I like, I like the, yeah, I, I like Tim. Um, I think, I think there was a, you know, I, I don't know. I don't want to say. I don't. I don't. I don't really know that much about what happened. But I know there was some just inter, like you know, inter mod group stuff. You know, um, that happened between him and. Uh, I don't want to say a falling out, but I know there was some issues there with some guys. Um, and honestly, I think everything with Allah was fine until he started that Facebook page. Had he not gotten deep into the Facebook 
group thing, I don't think it necessarily would have been as bad. <laughs> I think that was his downfall. And I'd tell him that to his face. <laughs> if he popped the Discord was like, hey, I'd be like, yeah, you should have never started Facebook. And he'd be like, yeah, I know, I shouldn't have. Um, but it just, uh, yeah. And people kept stealing it out of his Facebook group and then offering it up free. And, and he had parts, because uh, it was basically rebuilt off the Viper chassis. And then him and another guy made parts for it. Um, and then they spent, you know, gosh, man, months trying to separate that completely separate from Vipers. Um, and then they added two with different variations from other trucks and other parts and pieces from trucks. And um, I think I think in their quest to kind of make the 389 of something new, I, I don't want to say they ruined it, um, but they probably would have been better off just taking all of that effort and putting it into a brand new truck. Um, I mean, that's... I think that probably would have been better for him just for his gaming and modding health. You know what I mean? What's up, Joe? Because um, I'm telling you, man, those guys, man, you don't think about it. I mean, think about if, if I literally ran Interstate 5 every single stream. I knew every single road. I knew every single turn. I knew every single curve. And it was all about getting from point A to point B with no damage. With you know, And this is a simplified term. I mean, these guys worked and lived the same truck for years. Some of them. So I, I don't, I don't know what that does to you, man. But the enjoyment of playing the game has got to be gone at that point. You know what I mean? It's got to be gone. I mean, there's no way you can play and enjoy the game after working on this stuff for so long. That's why I tell you guys, man. When these guys are free and they give you all good free mods like this, man. Throw them a five or ten dollars every now and again. You know? Yeah, you're not paying for the mod, but you are saying to them. Hey, thanks for taking time out of your day to create something for me for free. Uh, and something that I will enjoy, just like this truck. And you think about it, for the next months, he's already been working on this. And for the next months to come, he's going to be updating it. He's going to be adding new parts to it. He's got, you know, all of these things going on that is now is going to be a part of his, like, everyday ATS workflow. And people are going to expect him to do things. I mean, it's crazy to think about that, but, I mean, it's... He will literally eat, live, and breathe this truck for the next nine months. I mean, if people keep taking advantage of it and keep telling him that stuff he's doing is not right or that it's wrong or that he's not doing enough, well, there's no incentive to continue to do that anymore because the game's already not fun. You're not making any money at it. You know, the hobby itself, when people start cussing at you and start, you know, calling you whatever, <laughs> then then it's really lost its lackluster flavor. And now it tastes like a stick of licorice. And, and so now it's like, oh, well, screw it. If everybody's going to be mad about it, it's free. Well, they can still be mad at it's payware. And somebody can give me $15 for the truck. And payware mods are born. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. It's the conundrum we live in. It's the, it's the world we live in. Because Bart, uh, Pinga, John, I don't know if John, I don't know if John really ever did anything free, but um, all of those guys did tons of work before pre-134. They all did tons of stuff for free. And the community just took advantage of them. <laughs> Chaos. <laughs> oh, that's funny and true. No tip, no tip. Okay. Woo. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah, it is people, unfortunately. I, th I think, too, uh, I, th I think, you know, sadly, I think sometimes that's Americans. I don't know if it's necessarily that rampant in, in the, the EU or the, you know, the non-America <laughs> states. Uh, countries and provinces. I don't know if they act or react the same way with stuff like that or take advantage. I'm sure some do. It doesn't seem to be. There doesn't seem to be as much payware on ETS. I mean, there's certainly there's there's your share of it, but there's a lot more like really legit free stuff on ETS. Maybe that's just because it's been around longer. I don't know. Not that it really matters. Thank you there, Jessica Jacobson. Appreciate the sub. So anyway, a little story time there with uh, with FTG here in our last run of the night. You spend enough time around, you know. Spend enough time around some of this stuff, you know. You you kind of you kind of get to see all walks of life. You get to see all 
walks of the sim, uh, different stages of the sim, growth stages, recessive stages, growth like where it's like, oh my god, it's so many players online, and oh my gosh, there's so many trucks coming out, there's so many trailers coming out, this is great, and then all of a sudden it just dries up like a well. <laughs> oh. I like this man. This is a, this is a pretty pass through. Uh, it's a pretty pass through Idaho. There's you. There's you. Good. Love that with the graphics model. Nice storm building there on the. Uh... Ooh, this trailer is. Sensitive. What's up, Ed E? How are you, man? Would I rather play ATS or ETS? Mm, probably not a fair question. Um, I, I appreciate them. I appreciate them both in their own regard. Oh, too fast, too fast, too fast. Okay. Um, I like ATS for uh, what it offers, and I like ETS for what it offers. But I, I don't think that I would say want to get rid of either one of them. You know, exclusively. You know what I mean? I think that's the same everywhere, Psycho. I'm telling you what, man. Farm Sim Community broke it for me, dude. This was before it became so popular. If you didn't play Farm Sim uh, before 19, then you don't really understand it. Um, but, oh my gosh. 15 and 17 were absolutely disgusting for PC players and console players. I guess really more 17. Um, the hatred and the bitterness and just the absolute, like, I mean, uh, I don't know. I, I just, I you know, I think the community side of doing, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, I think the, the community side of being a PC player trying to break out in the farm sim world um, before it really got big, now farm sim's huge, you know like huge like who, who would have thought that like nobody likes to you know watch anybody drive 60 miles an hour we have no problem watching a guy plow a 20 acre field at six you know what i mean like i just don't get it um but uh it, <laughs> it is a dead talk with me man y'all just got me on a roll i didn't drink my sun drop man it's like 11 it's midnight holy crap and i'm just i'm, I'm raring to go man i gotta get up in the morning too this is not good i'll stop now we almost have to get our first tank of gas. It's pretty impressive for me. <laughs> oh, well, it looks like I'm not wearing any pants. Yeah. I had to get awkward very quick there. <laughs> uh, Sierra Nevada. Ooh, good question. I don't know. Oh, look at this car. Oh, look at this turn. Oh, my gosh. Where's the signage? My truck keeps jumping into neutral in ATS using the real automatic. Huh. That makes me think controller assignment, Ed. Um, you might want to go through and make sure that all your controller assignments um, and wheel assignments are correct. That that'd be the only thing I would I would um, I would I would think. <laughs> yeah. All right, 109, 109 miles to Boise. I know how to say it. That's just for Mike out there because I know Mike's cringing right now. It's not Boise. It's Boise. With a Z, even though it is spelled with an I and followed by an S. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. If it's on real automatic, uh, sometimes if you have a, if you have a, well, because you can shift the real automatic into, you can shift it into neutral, and because you have to shift it out of gear into neutral and then hit the button again to go in reverse. Oh, you do your bike. Come on now. 
Yeah, these brakes, I'd, I'd already probably died like at least six times on this trip. I can only see half the road. Somebody installed a stinking drop visor on this thing. Tell you what, now, that Trinity Belt trailer, that thing's free. really, if you really think about it, no wonder it's top heavy, man. That a huge trailer. All right, so we, as we're doing our 90 mile follow here at the uh, at the end of stream here, let me tell you guys a little bit more about what's going to be happening this uh, coming week, hopefully. All right, um, a couple things. First off, uh, I'm really hoping 138 gets updated on some ETS and ATS because I would like to resume convoys but we are probably going to be adding in a, a, a thing or two um, and I'll have some more details on the discord uh, so if you guys want to join the discord and I'm going to be kind of putting up a few announcements this week trying to get an idea of some guys that are going to be playing a new game come out because uh, I don't know FS 2020 uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator Studios is bringing out uh, 2020 Flight Sim. If you've not seen it, look up a video or two. So many YouTubers got that except for me. Um, I, did, I didn't get picked uh, into the alpha, into the streaming stuff, which is fine, whatever. Um, but uh, we are going to be featuring uh, some actual Flight Sim stuff. And before you get all like, oh, good, I don't want to see him do cruise. We're going to be able to do a lot of this uh, in FS20. We're going to be able to do a lot of really cool stuff that we could not do before uh, with any of the other flight sims to the degree at which we're going to be able to do them for 2020. All right. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. You're, well, you'll need beefy everything. I mean, you're not going to be able to, you know, you're, you know, that I buy power PC off of Walmart is probably not going to be able to power much of, uh, you know, 2020. I mean, it's any flight sim is going to take a lot. It just is. Um, but you, for the most part, you should be able to make something work. Especially, I mean, I've got the 1080 Ti. I mean, I've got an i7. A, you know, I had it well, at least at the time. It was the top of the line. It's not anymore, but um, it'll get the job done for what for what I need to do. Um, and then I'll be upgrading soon enough. But just because I I need to. Um, but at at um, at any rate, so here's the thing. Uh, we're going to be able to do a lot in that, and that includes convoy flights. And I know that sounds dumb, uh, but FS2020 has a whole multiplayer network built in. So this is really going to offer us some opportunities as a community to do some really cool stuff together that we normally would not be able to do. So think convoy in the sky, so to speak. So if you want a convoy and land on a sandbar in Alaska, by gosh, we can do it. And then we can sit back and watch everybody land instead of trying to back up their trailer and have a hilarious time watching everybody do it. So there's going to be some incentive there, I think, for um, a wider variety of audience stuff. I mean, everybody loves to see, a, for whatever reason, they love to see Facebook truckers wreck. I don't know why, but 2020 would be kind of, you know, kind of cool to come back and watch because I think... Uh, I think you'll probably see a few of those happen when we do our multiplayer. So, at any rate, I say all that to say, come back to the channel, check it out, give it a good go because I think you might actually like it. Um, I've got some planned stuff through X-Plane to do a couple of shared cockpit flights. Uh, that means I've actually got a fellow member is going to be actually sitting in the same plane as me, you know, fixing switches, going through checklists, making a small short flight. Uh, trying to make those some video on demand to kind of give you some taste of some of the different sims that's out there. Um, but at any rate, it's going to be fun. Uh, so those are really the two biggest things uh, this week we got going on. So uh, make sure you're around Tuesday evening. Uh, try to not, if you can make it, uh, you know, if you can, if you can make it, maybe try not watching somebody else's stream before you see mine. You know, you know, maybe. <laughs> OTF, bam, hit them up. Uh, we make a video on how to set up the shifter and how to purchase one. Um, so I do have a video about my older uh, shifter setup. Now, this shifter setup is custom made. Um, the only way that I know how to tell you to do it, man, um, is uh, is by using a shifter extender like I did on that video. 
um, and it is on uh, it is on the um, on my main page. Like if you go back to my main Full Tilt Gaming YouTube channel page, scroll down and you'll see FT, FTG Shifter Reveal. Uh, that has got my old shifter setup. I have not put the new one up yet uh, with my new custom built one. Uh, but this is all built on the Fanatec shifter. So everything that I have fits on that. As for you know any kind of other videos on how you could do it, eh, I don't know. I've never tried to do it any other way. So I, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really know how to properly, you know, uh, you know, put a video out on that because I've never tried to do it. So I think, hope that gives you some new info, but I at least do have uh, some inexpensive shifter options on that last video from Simi Shift or A plus B Software. Um, you can buy them from Amazon. I think they sell them on eBay. Either way. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a, let me, let me duck down in there. Yeah, honestly, I didn't like his other one. I spent actually a good bit of time out of the out of the truck, but yes, it is it is nice, man. Yeah, I don't normally pick a drop visor, and it's pretty low. <laughs> but the other visor was painted, and it was just like, ugh. It was like it's terrible, man. I need like a chrome version of that. Oh, come on, those Lito, no fair, man, fair. Uh, is that a typical gamer or typical? What's up, man? Hello. We're in Idaho over there, Dalen. Game CR, it is going to be awesome, man. It is going to be awesome. Uh, yeah, uh, so, but I've got the one from there. And I've also got Renegades. Uh, Renegades. And we'll have to do that up. I was going to try to do... I've just got to work on it, but I wanted to do, I don't know if you guys have seen my iRacing or do NASCAR, uh, typically on Sunday, is the cop going to go, is he going to go? Nope, he stopped. Uh, we do typically do NASCAR race on Sunday, we'll do whatever the official uh, iRacing series league stuff is, um, and uh, I probably will not do this week's, I don't think, they're at the Daytona Road Course. I like to keep my sanity in check. Or intact, I should say. What was I going to say? Totally. Uh, Torva, yes, this is the FLC. Uh, links are in the description, man. This is a free truck. So she is. can be all yours. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, the NASCAR hauler. Um, so, anyway, I've got a, a, a skin design, the FTR uh, Motorsports, which I would like to try to put that on a truck. Uh, I'm actually going to try to put that on Pingus 389 Legacy Sleeper and then add that to the Renegade, which would give us uh, our own like FTG, like FTR Motorsports hauler and trailer. I just wanted to get the skin done so I could kind of like push it all at one time. You know what I mean? Uh, what plate? It's my it's my personal one from the World of uh, World of Trucks. I guess we can go here. RPG Ghost, what's up, man? Man, we're about running out of fuel. For like five loads tonight? It's actually a lot for me. Two hours and 20 minutes, good gosh. You should have told me to stop 30 minutes ago. It's a little longer of a trip than I thought it was. <laughs> Oh yeah, we pulled double splitting. I don't necessarily care. I honestly don't like pulling doubles because I don't like bagging them up because I can't. I'll take any of the other ones. I mean, I'll, I actually used to like Rocky Mountain. Um, but I got to where you just about can't pull those trailers in any state besides Nevada. I mean, they're about the only one that'll accept them. Or Turnpike. Yeah, it was Turnpike. Turnpike doubles is what I actually really like, so... Sorry there, Mike. As we pull into Boise. Free off our trip off to Takaba. <laughs> oh! Uh. 
Man, oh, I was about to say, what are we doing? Why, why is this? I hate when they won't go, man. Oh, there they go. Finally, this is after I spin her out, pit maneuver in the fourth turn here. Uh, the Escaris, you mean the one for ETS? So I use the SKRS whenever I am on ETS. Uh, this is simply, this is nothing more than my ATS knob and shifter. Well, like B doubles, you can back up B doubles. Not the not the pub doubles; those are different. I don't know. I just don't. Yeah, I don't know. They're not my thing. I don't really care. It's got to be a really cool set of doubles for me to be like. <gasps> What happened to be a big camp with the one I just switched to? <laughs> uh, all right, here I am at Boise. A. I'm sure the town loves me, Jake Breaking, coming into coming into town. One thing I like about the drop bys, I can't see the uh, <laughs> can't see the stoplight. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> yeah, they, they I know I'm I know I'm around. <laughs> Do a video in Steam Workshop free mods only. What you want to see, goat? I typically don't. I typically haven't done those things because they're uh, they've already been done, and there's really not much to like like redo. You just click subscribe and then load them in. I tell you, the thing that'll help you more, goat. Um, the thing that would probably help, especially a beginner mod who's doing free stuff, um, is I actually do have a mod now. I don't really cover Steam Workshop because it's Workshop and then you hit subscribe and then it pops up in your mod manager. Um, the thing, the, the video I would suggest is going back to my main page and watching the um, What Goes Where video, which is where I talk about mod prioritization uh, in ATS so that you can stack and organize it's more about organizing your mods more than it is about stacking them correctly because um, my philosophy is actually backwards from what SES says because I mean what they say uh, in the video and what they actually tell you in text is actually contradictive um, so I, I don't really know which if it is if it really matters but um, my video I think does a pretty good layman's terms you know, uh, and some guys have literally saved their ATS, you know, careers uh, on uh, on that video, just being able to prioritize their mods correctly. That's probably a better one because I do cover some of the other ones as well, um, trying to organize all of those to where you don't get crashes and you get up to date mods and how to kind of look for all that stuff. So, if you've got a ton, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I can go this way. Certainly I can. Hey, what's up, Walker? Uh, do I use the ATS shifter? I don't use the ATS shifter. No, I take it off. 
Uh, this week, actually, uh, I was trying to use my sequential shifter, uh, my Thrustmaster Sparco shifter. I was trying to use that thing. Um, kind of looks rally style, but I don't know that I necessarily really liked it all that much. But now I just take this off and put a new shift knob on the uh, on the Fanatec shifter. Well, that's because we were at Charlotte Motor Speedway. <laughs> 600 mile race. Like this last one last week, it took us like 45, 50 minutes to run the whole race. It was like, it was 100 laps caution free. It was ridiculous. I love how Shane just walks in and it's just like giveaway. Just in case, just in case, man, you never know. <laughs> Yeah, go. I would say your that mod video, man. I'm more I'm thinking about that, dude. I bet that mod prioritization video would serve you well, man. Oh, it's 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 all good, chronic. <laughs> it's all good, man. That's a good legit load, man. I, I like I like that trailer. Truck is very nice as well. Um, as I said, uh, we've got all oh, actually. We get back to this one. Oh, roll one. Yeah, there we go. Um, so anyway, we've got the truck here. Uh, I got you guys two, um, yeah, two links to that one. Uh, so we got our, uh, the tanker trailer as well as our step deck trailer. So, uh, hopefully you guys can go check those out there, uh, in the videos. I'll try to maybe timestamp or maybe someone else knows where those were. Uh, basically at the end of our loads, I just threw them in chat there uh, for you guys to grab. So, um, uh, let's see. Going to th we'll just look in here because I thought I actually I thought I had that one, but I didn't. So, okay. All right. So, this last one here was Blades uh, Workshop, by the way. He's on Facebook, Blades Mods uh, ATS ETS2 shop. You can grab it from there. Uh, I might even get, uh, let's see, that was the Daryl Dove King. I'm looking for him because I actually just throw him up here and chat again. Feel being generous with my links tonight. I just got to find that one. All right, so here is the uh, here's the polar tanker. You guys can. What's up, Timothy? There you go. If you guys didn't get that one, uh, in, the, uh, in your last video, how did you get the trailer? Did it cost money? Which uh, which trailer was that, Goat? I don't. I honestly don't remember which one I did last one. No problem, Elu man. Thank you guys for coming. Let me see if I can grab that drop deck on here for the Benson. So many. Great Dane Flint. Gosh, did I miss it? Get gravy. Yeah, I think I did. Oh, the low boy. Yes, yeah, so that was uh that was Pingus. Uh yes, and it did cost money. Yes. And I think I've got a link down to his store uh as well. There it is. There's right there. So this is the other one we did today, the Benson drop deck. So you guys can go grab those. Oh, the sliding tarp. Yes. Yeah, so the sliding tarp, um, it was, it, it turned out it was a company thing wherever I was trying to grab my last one there. Um, all right, Firebird, the Rackley on a short haul. All right. Well, fair enough. Fair enough, man. I'll try to jump in there and get it. Let me see if I've got that maximizer because I've um, got a link there. I should be able to grab one for you. It's been a good stream, man. Good Saturday night stream. Uh, let's see. Give me a second here. I'll find it. It used to be on the... Um, uh, gosh, it used to be on the... Uh, watch, uh, no, that's not it. It used to be on the workshop, I think. And then they got, it then got taken down. And like it didn't get updated for months. And then I think it just kind of went out as an, an abandoned mod. Nobody used it anymore. Uh, here you go. Here it is. Yep, and there is another one right there. All right, yeah, so there's the maximizer right there. So that's it, man. 
<laughs> what's up span click yeah we just uh we just getting finished up for the night so uh let me go ahead and thank you there firebird appreciate the five man i would i'll would grab that uh i'll grab that rackley and uh and we'll we'll do a haul with it man that's no that's no problem and truck so all right so a couple things don't forget tuesday fly sim 2020 we'll be driving and flying some here um i do have a complete full flight sim setup that i'd like to show off. You can see it in some of my um, my explain videos, but it'll be a little bit till I get uh, till the software updates for FS. The, they've already said they're going to support it, so it's going to take a little bit. Um, so uh, we'll try to do the best we can with that. So that's going to happen uh, Tuesday. So don't forget that's going up. Um, and then I'm going to try to either stream tomorrow or Monday. Um, I would like to potentially record something in between those. I'll see. Just uh, if something will go off later this week. Other than that, if you like this truck, go support X XBS. Uh, he is uh, he is a really good modder. He did the auto car, and now he's done this Freightliner FLC. And even from the time he announced it back in March, talking like three four months later, he's got a really complete truck. And he's even working on the second part of that, which is I think the Century, which is kind of the older fleet truck from Freightliner. Um, which I think some guys will like, some of them are going to be like, yeah, nope, negative, not for me. But at any rate, it's another free truck uh, at that rate. So you've got the links for that in the description. Don't forget in the description also, you've got the sound patch. So if you don't, you know, if you want to use, um, if you want to use uh, Creatures 3.1, that sound patch makes the sound uh, for Creatures sound pack, it makes it available for it, all right? So it makes it available here on the FLC. Uh, that way you can use all of uh, Creech's sounds on that as well. So, hey, thank you there, Freight, uh, freight Bird. <laughs> thank you there, Firebird. Appreciate it, man. Uh, they're joining up there. First Gear members. Appreciate it, man. Uh, you and someone else also. Uh, Justin T. Yeah, became members, man. So thank you, guys. Appreciate it. The sliding tarp comes on it, Goat. So that's three trailers what I just gave you there. So you get the, you get the sliding tarp. You get the what do they call it? It's the it's the half one. I think it's sliding. Oh shoot! What is it? What do they what do they call the the half one? What do they call that one? Someone 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 help me out here in chat. I know somebody's got to know it. It comes with a flatbed, the sliding tarp, and side kit. Thank you there, bull. Appreciate it, man. Yes. So side kit, sliding tarp, and flatbed all come with that trailer. They're all are all the same. Yeah, half a slider. <laughs> and thank you there, Jay Mason, man. Uh, let me roll through here. And Danilo, thank you there. Appreciate the sub, man. Firebird, thank you there for the membership and also the five dollars super chat. OTF, thank you there for your five dollars as well. Hopefully that video uh, helps you out, man. If it don't, let me know. Uh, maybe you can search a few other things. Maybe even let me know some of those resources. That way I can push it off maybe to the next guy. Um, and then thank you there, B9 Bots. Good to see you there, B9. Uh, $10 from him. Mr. J. Mason, another 10 from him. Uh, Misfit Trucker 5 there. Appreciate it, guys. Man, as always, just a T brand new member here on the uh, FTG United. John, uh, 522, a nice 20 there. Uh, donation there. Captain Chaos, as always, man. Thank you there, Captain. Appreciate you, bud. And also that sound pack. Uh, is courtesy of Captain Chaos because he's the one that told me about it so that I could tell you guys about it. So thanks to him. Uh, appreciate it, man. Uh, Andrew James re-upped his membership. Uh, so appreciate there, Andrew. Wheezy up. Uh, Brian King 15. Sinister Diesel. A big start off with a $100 donation there right off the start of the stream. So appreciate it, Sinister. As always, man, you guys are uh, y'all are awesome. Thank you there, B9. Appreciate it, man. Uh, it's been a good, good, good stream, man. So it's good to have a good, solid Saturday night stream. Relatively no trolls, which is always good, man, because that always smacks the mood down. So thank y'all for being awesome. I uh, appreciate it, and I will, uh, and I will uh, hopefully see you either tomorrow, or Monday. Um, I'll figure out whichever day I can do the most in, and uh, and we'll hopefully we'll have something new to roll out, uh, and then we'll have some new announcements here and just the ATS World stuff going on. So anyway, you guys have a great one. Uh, and then I'll see you here in the next one. I gotta reach all the way over here and hit my intro button. So anyway, you guys take it easy. I'll see you here in the next live stream, guys. We'll see you. Peace out.